those days were interesting days, very interesting days. In the sense, uh, the entire world was being, uh, in a way, uh, there was a wave of left movement all, all through, all over the world, um, especially Europe. Uh, Vietnam War was on, um, and uh, in Karachi, uh, the student movement was very, very strong. Uh, and most most of the movement was left leaning movement. This was anti Vietnam. Ayub Ayub Khan was the president, General Ayub. So it was a military regime in those days, and there was this resentment against the military regime. And it, that was a period when I had done my graduation in pharmacy, uh, and. Uh, the only job available in the country at that time was medical sales representative. Because uh, in those days, the pharmaceutical industry was in a way infant. Uh, it was in an infant, infancy stage. So within, within a year, I got bored. Uh, it didn't suit my personality, perhaps. Uh, so, I mean, I mean, at about that time, I came very close to these senior leaders, you know, student leaders. Jaur Hussain was in journalism and he actually made me rather uh, inspired me to take up journalism. I was, I was a very, uh, you know, and I used to read a lot and most of the literature was left-leaning literature. So I thought, uh, let's try it. But once I joined the department, journalism department, then there was no stopping. The, the, this law, the present publication law was uh, enforced, was in, in force. And uh, uh, there was this another law which says, which said that if uh, what you have published is in the park, in the national address, and even if it's true, you are liable to be thrown into, into jail. So that, that, that was a very harsh time those days and uh, there was a censorship as well. We used to make pages and take it to uh, the PID uh, and the, the, the information officer sitting there would use his own judgment uh, whether to tell, let a story go or take it away. Then most of the time um, the stories which were taken away used to be replaced by some inane um, uh, I mean, harmless story. But after some time, after a few months, we started uh, leaving the space vacant. That was our protest. I mean, the white, white spaces would go, uh, like uh, now at, nowadays, the New York Times, whenever we take out any story, there, there is a white space. We used to do the same in during that period. So, it, and uh, politics was banned in those days. So we were, we were allowed to do stories which were only social stories. I mean, like in those days, Akbar uh, Khawatin, Akbar, I mean, feature, feature magazines, like these used to be published. And even the newspapers used to do a number of features. Uh, no politics. Uh, Bhutto was totally banned from uh, any, any mention in the newspapers. And uh, so at that time, the only window of uh, only space was for the economy. So economy was, uh, I mean, that, that is one other, one other reason why I became very, uh, you know, interested in economic reporting. In, in those days, most of the information used to be, uh, I mean, 99% of the information uh, used to be uh, in the strict control of the government. So it would, it would be very difficult to even uh, report about the rate of, rate of inflation. That was considered to be a national secret. So that, uh, um, though the politics was banned, economy was allowed, uh, stories on economy were allowed, but no political economy, only spot economy, uh, spot stories about economy, the budget, the, the, the economic uh, survey, reporting on economic surveys. So in those days, to come up with, uh, the, you know, interpretative stories, how the economy is uh, going, it was difficult because, in, uh, because because of the information, most of the information used to be uh, under the control of the government. 
in i mean in a way we were testing the limits we kept on testing the limits of the military regimes patience at one point one of the ispr chief called me up and said ziauddin you are tum bahut zyadati kar rahe ho to phir he himself said ke chalo karte raho kyunki faujiyon ko economy samajh nahi aati see I, every story which i covered i thought it, it was very significant the recent story which i thought i broke was uh, uh, from london number nine filed the story the deal has been done for don uh, when um, uh, this nro was signed between benazir and uh, musharraf uh, this uh, the story was even mentioned in the nro case uh, the supreme court case so that uh, and then um, i was the one who first broke the uh, imf uh, secrecy i uh, mean 1982 until 1982 imf uh, the deal with agreements with, with uh, imf used to be the national secrets so i actually stole the paper from from dr mebobulak's desk so i broke that story that, that was perhaps the first time the nation came to know what is what is the deal about with the uh, with the imf from then on they they opened it up uh, during this entire uh, 50 55 years i never uh, thought my economic conditions were ideal uh, because of the family pressures uh, there was uh, <laughs> i mean i must say that you have to have a very understanding spouse to be a journalist successful journalist uh, i mean nobody nobody you know understands this when mai jaun ghar pe aur tanka jo itni hai aur usme ye karna hai to then uh, only an understanding person would uh, say okay otherwise it becomes very difficult so i was lucky there so uh, there was there were difficult days i mean you can't look in the eyes of the rulers and uh, give them a, a piece of your mind and go back home uh, with my wife look at it staying at me give it so yeah this, this was this these were, these were difficult days aapki salary jitni bhi hai agar aap permanent permanent samajhte hain ki now you you will be uh, getting this income permanently then it's all right but if there is there is this possibility that kisi bhi waqt jo hai na ye चेंज हो सकती है तो फिर आप यू आप बहुत कमज़ोर हो जाते हैं यू बिकम वीकर इन आपका विल पावर आपकी विल पावर भी वीक हो जाती है मैन इफ आई इफ से गेट से अब दस लाख आदमी रुपए मिल रहे हैं मुझे आज और मेरे हैबिट जो है ना उसकी दस लाख के बराबर हो गए और कल के दिन मेरी जॉब जाती है मुझे एक लाख की ऑफर होती है तो इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू एडजस्ट सो आई सेल माई सोल keep my my job there 10 10 years to ye problem hoti hai aur ho bhi rahi hai is waqt 